Here's the fourth exercise uh, in Introduction to Modern Brain Computer Interface Design. This exercise is primarily to strengthen the skill of scripting uh, with PCI Lab. And in this exercise, we are only focused on online analysis. So it's writing online scripts. It's a rather simple exercise. Um, what you're doing here is, you, well, first and foremost, you will replicate the um, CSP analysis, the analysis with common spatial patterns, that you did in pure MATLAB before, just using a BCI lab script. So it will be less code to write. And uh, that goes through calibration and training and um, in online execution. So uh, to, to get started, you, as always, start MATLAB. You CD into the path uh, wherever you extracted it. The package is on the website. Um, and it's, again, this slash BCI lab course subdirectory where you find the toolbox. And you have a semicolon and start the toolbox with BCI lab. By the way, um, I should say that it may be tempting to add the toolbox folder recursively to the path or so. Don't do that. Um, there are subdirectories in there that are for other operating systems and so on. So always just either CD into this and start it or add only the top level path to your MATLAB path. So if you're getting warnings, I said this before, um, uh, if there's any problem, almost certainly it is going to be because you have stuff in your path, in your MATLAB path, which is overriding some function of BCI lab or some variable. And to deal with it, you restart MATLAB, you uh, go to file set path and uh, override the defaults, uh, or click to default, uh, the default button, yes. And then your uh, path is reset to the vanilla MATLAB settings. And then you're going to be fine. You can save it for later. So there is a data set uh, on disk, which is called, uh, which is in, in ex4 slash emac uh, dot set. And there's an associated test set in the same folder, emac2 dot set. So this stands for imaginary movements. So these are pretty much from the same kind of task that we discussed, um, that we discussed you know, in, in the exercise where you script everything in MATLAB. And there is a script in there. It's called basic underscore script dot m. And it has um, several to do's. So it is comment lines which said to do colon this and that. And so they prompt you to implement various steps, such as defining the approach, training the model, and so on and so on. And so um, you are just filling in the to do's and, um, and hopefully it runs for you. There's a uh, there's two markers in this data set. It's not the BCI competition data set, even though you, you could use that if you wanted to, or if for some reason this data is not available anymore at some point in the future. Um, so there are two markers in this data set. One is called S1, and there's two spaces here. And the other marker is called S2, and there's two spaces. This is brain products marker labeling. Uh, that's the reason for this. And one encodes um, that the person is supposed to imagine a left-hand movement, and the other encodes the person is supposed to imagine a right-hand movement. So it's, again, imagine movements. You can assume that it takes about three and a half or four seconds after the stimulus until the person is finally done imagining this. It's very closely related to the data for which I showed pictures initially with red-green power spectral plots. And uh, that's already the end of this description. So. Um, of course, all the material is, is uh, in the previous lectures and so on. So good luck with that.